This is Larry Anglosano for Aviation Consumer. For the 2017 model year, Cirrus Aircraft has re-engined the entry-level SR-20 with a 215-horsepower, four-cylinder Lycoming IO390. It's the C3B6 variant. Now, this engine replaces a 200-horsepower, six-cylinder Continental IO360ES. That engine was used on the SR-20 for years. At a recent stop at the Cirrus Vision Center in Knoxville, Tennessee, I flew the new G6 SR20 to see how the new engine compared to the previous one, while Cirrus's Ivy MacGyver gave an overview. And this is the 2017 SR20 G6. It is equipped with the Lycoming IO390 engine. It's a four-cylinder, 215 horsepower engine. And with that new engine, we were able to increase the max gross weight of the SR20 to 3,150 pounds. So we increased it by 100 pounds. Uh, we were also able to certify a lightweight composite prop from Hartzell, uh, which gives an additional about 30 pounds of, uh, of weight loss to the airplane. It's also equipped with the new Cirrus Perspective Plus avionics from Garmin. Uh, those avionics are a little bit lighter as well. So with the G6 SR20, you can equip the plane such that you gain about 150 pounds of useful load, which is arguably another person, which is really, really great. Um, part of the reason why we decided to move the SR20 to the Lycoming engine is because there was a very big demand for a Lycoming power plant in a flight training uh, airplane. So from big uh, fleet flight training institutions to even smaller flight schools, um, the, uh, the Lycoming engine was something that a lot of people asked about, uh, both from a maintenance perspective, given that it's four cylinders versus six, uh, and um, from an operational standpoint, it's uh, just a, a simpler airplane to work on, a simpler airplane to fly, uh, or engine to operate, and a uh, simpler engine to, uh, to work on and maintain, uh, slightly less cost to maintain it, simply because there's less parts. Um, and uh, it is a little bit lighter than the Continental engine. So all things all put together, we were uh, able to certify it for this airframe. The other thing that it offers is 215 horsepower versus 200. And so uh, with that little bit of extra power, you see uh, an increased climb rate. Um, and with that extra horsepower, that's part of the reason why we were able to increase the useful load uh, or the uh, max gross weight rather. The new engine could give the 215 horsepower SR20 a competitive boost among its peers. The Diamond DA40 XLT, Cessna 172, and Piper Archer are all powered by the 180 horsepower Lycoming IO360. Okay, the time before overhaul on this engine is actually 2,200 hours. Uh, one thing that's nice about this engine is that if it's a high time use engine, that TBO gets bumped up to 2,400 hours. So if you're using the airplane, um, it's flying more than 40 hours a month, that TBO is actually 2,400 hours. Okay, so from an operations perspective, uh, the engine is actually really easy to, uh, to operate. We've got obviously the engine page that shows you all of the cylinder head temperatures, the exhaust gas temperatures, the fuel flows and everything. Uh, but from a leaning perspective, you would uh, take off in the climb. You've got a full rich mixture and a full, rich, or a full forward throttle. Uh, when you get up into cruise, very much like the SR22T, there's actually a fuel optimization carrier. So you bring the throttle back to about 2,500 RPM, and then you just simply pull the mixture lever back until uh, the pointer is pointed to that, uh, that um, fuel optimization carrot. And that gives you the ideal um, best economy fuel flow without having to go through the whole lean assist pr uh, procedure. And once you get it lean, the SR20 makes best power at 150 knots at 11 and a half gallons per hour. Pull back to best economy cruise, it'll do 135 knots at 8.5 gallons per hour. Now compared to Continental powered SR20s I've flown, the IO390 powered models seem to get off the runway quicker and had notably better climb authority. Although to my senses, the Continental engine is a touch smoother, but I doubt new owners would complain. The, uh, the first G6 SR20 was delivered in February of 2017, and we have deliveries scheduled throughout the year. Um, the uh, starting price is in the low 400s, and you can kind of equip it from there. Um, most of the avionics options are available for the SR20, so things like 
um, 12 inch screens, surface watch, synthetic vision, all of the kind of uh, new and exciting upgrades for the Sears Perspective Plus avionics are also available on the SR20. So you can really kit it out and be a flashy paint job and everything for the SR20 GTS.